Hello everyone and welcome back for a new episode of Rome Total War 2. So we're picking off where we last left everything. And last thing we did was taking Iron Minum. And now we are waiting to do some more stuff. So the first of all, the first thing we have to do is defeat this army, which is um, the Etruscan, Etruscan League army. But um, as they are fortified at the moment, like you can see here, um, well, and they have a full army, I don't think it's really possible. So the, um, the plan would be to just wait until they're um, not fortified anymore, maybe just um, kind of backdoor with this army and take the lottery. Um, yeah, I don't know yet. We'll have to figure that out. On the other hand, we have on the other side of the map, we have um, Syracuse, and these guys. I won't say they're angry with us, but at this point, we don't have super good relationships with them, so they might attack. And the third problem is this guy, which is a rebel army. Um, and now I would like to just um, like show you this tooltip that I saw, and it's like Italian spearmen. And if you look here, you can see angry Italians with spears should never be dismissed lightly. And I thought it was rather hilarious from the creators of the game. So um, what we're going to do now is first of all we're going to recruit an army here because well um, this army is going to grow every turn and then they will try to attack us so we have to defend ourselves so first thing we're going to do is raise forces and I saw this guy no this guy and he gives food and as you can see we have zero food so some food might be interesting to have so we're going to raise an army and three army are better at this point um, then the horses, and we're going to recruit him. And he can... Actually, he doesn't have to be in this trim at this point, but we'll put him in there. Um, next thing we have to do is... Um, since we still don't have a lot of food surplus, we will... Oh, sh uh, yeah, we don't have the money for this anymore. And then we have to choose a new technology to do, and um, this one is going to unlock auxiliary barracks, which is very important at this point. So we're going to do this. And um, last but not least, we have a problem. So um, as you can see, there are always there's always something happening, and here we have a dispute, and we have to. Um, uh, he's going to sail down the Cloaca Maxima, and he feels the spectacle will provide distraction, blah blah blah. And I guess if it says like distraction, I guess it might be interesting. Uh, so we'll just allow, and next turn we will see what um, happened with it. Um, so this is kind of everything we can do this turn. Um, we could already. Um, recruit some people, but at this point they're not going to attack, so it's fine. Uh, next thing is maybe just scout here. Um, yeah, so basically what we want to do is to get the Latri, because then we have the full province of Italia, as you can see here. And um, if you do this, you get an edict and you can say like yeah I want 20% uh, extra wealth we have um, I want food and public order stuff like that um, which is very important to grow so yes we, we really need that and here uh, uh, we might do this actually mm, no we're not going to do it yet but as you can see, uh, if we have the whole um, part of Italia, we have our first um, whole province, and it's the start of the huge empire. Right, so now we're going to end the turn, and let's hope everything ends well. Let's hope so. Alright, so 
um, the spectator um, went down the cloaca maxima and well it was quite uh, interesting quite good for us so we gained influence uh, <laughs> it's kind of silly but and um, in Magna Graecia, which is here, the populace is um, still unhappy. But um, the important thing is that we gain 20 happiness per turn because this guy is still um, recruiting um, angry Italians with, um, with spears. So uh, now it's our turn to start recruiting, I think. I'm not sure yet. Um, in Burn this room, we have. 12 legions, but we also have the walls to protect us. Um, so, with 12 legions, I think you can nearly win against a full army, but I'm not sure. So, we'll, um, we'll see later. I think it's okay at the moment, because um, if you have more armies, of course, you have uh, more maintenance costs, and yeah, it costs every turn, so we don't want it. And here we built a villa, which is good for food, so we have food again. And these guys are still defended. So maybe... Maybe it's time to just... Just back door. Um, I don't think they've, they've got armies left, so I'm going to do this. We're still on our land, and they, I don't know, um, because they're like in this stance, I don't think they can go very far. And once they go here, we can just attack them, I guess. So, um, at this point, I think everything is kind of okay. We're still gaining money, which is uh, important. So we can upgrade something. Uh, we might need uh, still some food, so we are going to make a farm here in our miner. Alright, so more than this, well, this should be enough for this turn. Uh, we might just um, recruit... No, we'll do it later. Alright. And... Okay. So they attacked us, so we're going to retreat, and they retreat, shouldn't retreat. be able to follow us. So the turn is over, and I don't know where their armies um, went. So I think they might be here. Okay, yeah. they are here, and they are in forced march. Uh, they are just out of um, our reach, but we just we can just take the lottery. So should we? Should we not? I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to take the lottery. Oh, and they can join. Oh, I might have made a mistake. No. <clears throat> um, let's see what happens here. We can, of course, encircle them and wait for the reinforcements. Okay, this might be the best option. Let them cower before Rome. And normally, they should lose a lot. But we also can sh lose a lot. And at this point, we are kind of fucked. Because they can attack us. And as you can see, the, the red doesn't go until the yellow from here. So these guys can't reach us. So first of all, we're going to see that... We're going to save the rest of, um, of our uh, villages. So what we want to do is we want to defend Barandizium. So we're going to take some Belitas. Uh, which are... Way better or not? Melee attack, shot per minute, ammunition. Okay, so it's kind of the same, so basically we can just fill it with levies. Okay, so this is okay. Um, with the walls and with some levies, it's alright. Uh, next thing we have to do is 
just run away here and we cannot. We should just just run away actually. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to wait and hope that we just survive this turn and then we will see. Um, so they are going to attack us and we're going to... Oh crap. So we might just break the siege and go back. Alright. The only problem now is that they, these guys, can reach us. Reach these guys. So... We also have a problem. Um, okay, so at the moment we're just going to end the turn and pray for the best. We are going to just just end the turn and see what happens. Okay, so we are getting attacked by their whole army, but because the garrison army is um, with them, I think uh, we should just back off and we'll just retreat. And if they still attack us, we can just regroup with the other army, so... At this point, we just want to fight with both armies at the same time. And then we will win. Okay, so now we have um, a new research completed. But we have a big problem, which is this army. And... They are going to attack us. So it's quite obvious at this point. So what we're going to do is, we're going to see, okay, so at this point these guys don't want to attack us, so this is good. These guys are still recruiting, they will be recruiting one more turn. And uh, we still have the technology. Yeah, we're going to go for um, some wealth and some stuff, so we're going to go for this. Alright. So we have this army and this army, at this point we don't want to fight. So now we, we can, like, we, we can take it, if we want to, but I don't think it's very smart to attack if these guys are here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to um, not attack these guys, because they have um, quite decent warriors, quite a decent army actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with diplomacy. It's always the best way to go. So we have Venetai, which is Venice, and they are at war with a lot of people. So what we're going to do is Greetings. going to now speak plainly, for we are an honest folk and value uh, honest others. Non-aggression pact, I think, is the best thing. And we are going to add some money. We're going to offer 600. I cannot say yes and be anything but the mm. mother friend. All right. It's um, ill with me, so I say no. We're going to try to give more money, I, mean, I guess. Um, is it trade agreement? No, it's, it's less chance. So we're going to non-aggression pact and then I'm going to give more something like this maybe nope I thank you for the more offer. we are not wet nurses for weaklings payments for payments all right this so now we have kind of peace with Veneta, uh, with, with Venice, um, which is kind of important because we can't handle too many wars at this point. What we have to do now is concentrate on attacking the Latry. Except if they're... are they friends? No, they're, they're not friends. So it's right. We can take this um, settlement now. So what we're going to do is... We're going to go right until here, like this, and then 
we are going to attack them. And maybe we can hire mercenaries. Um, we'll hire maybe these guys and just use them, just, just basically kill them. We, we just need to kill them um, because they, their upkeep costs are like as much as the other guys um, as they are worth. So we can't afford to, to keep them. So we are going to hire them and now we attack and we should win this. Um, and I am going to... Let's see first what the auto resolve gives. And it gives that we are going to lose. But I'm sure we're not. So... Um, uh, we're going to assault them ourselves. I'll do it. Um, so here... Um, I might make a new video with um, the whole fight. Um, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how long it takes. So we'll we'll start and we'll see. I bet I'll record it. And we are back. Um, we are starting to deploy. So what we're going to do is we are going to take all the slingers and stuff. We'll put them here. Then we're going to take all the Hestati, Hestati, put them here, as you can see, uh, we have a long, long line. And next we're going to take these guys and we'll put them in the middle. Um, it's, I know it's, it's not a very crazy tactic or something, but we don't really need a crazy tactic here. Um, basically what we want is to make them um, run away and we'll start with this flank and then we will see what we can do here. So we're going to start in battle and there should be... I don't know if there is... Well, wait, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10... Yes, so the, the reinforcements are there. And we should actually wait for them. Uh, before we engage. So they are getting attacked, so they are not going to move. Um, so we have all our reinforcements here. And okay, so we will start placing them and then we will go. Okay, um, 
we won the battle, and at this point I, I'm not sure if we should um, keep fighting or not. Um, I'm just we're just going to stop and take what's theirs. So we'll just end the battle, and I think um, that's going going to be it for today. So. Um, we'll just end the turn and see what happens. So we have uh, very few losses and a lot of kills, um, which is not what um, well the the auto resolve predicted. So yeah, basically now we have the the whole um, part of Italy. Actually, we have our first province, and we can um, go ahead and do more things. In, um, in Italy, and our general is uh, way better now. So what we're going to do is we're going to occupy the city to take the um, hold of Italy, and we still have a lot of troops actually. It's, it's really decent. So the general has a new rank, so what happens when you get a new rank, you can give some ranking points, and you have zeal, authority, or cunning, and we will give him um, uh, authority, um, but he'll he'll die soon anyway, so no problem. Um, here no one can still move, and we are going to dismiss these guys, so we have here, like this, disband, and disband. And as you see, we have we have um, 600 extra per turn because we disbanded them. So when you have mercenaries, always, always, always just disband them. And because we have a lot of gold now, no, we don't have a lot of gold actually. Um, but we're just going to recruit some units here, and we will recruit. We could recruit just like two of these. All right, good. Uh, this should be enough to just defend ourselves. So I'm just going to end the turn because in uh, we're on legendary. If you check, we cannot save the game because um, we are on legendary difficulty. So and the game is automatically saved when we end the turn. So we're going to end the turn, and this will be all for today. And there is oh yeah, of course I forgot the edit ed edict. So here you have it. Um, so. Our province is uh, has a bad public order because of war, and we might need some more food. So what we're going to do is to take the bread and games edict, which gives us food and public order, and we'll do this until we have um, enough food reserves and public order, and then we can just do other things like a tax rate and stuff. But at the moment we'll just take food and they will lose less um, public order so they will still be at peace, let's say. So that's all for today. Um, I will... yeah, so the turn is ended and if nothing spectacular happens um, you might even not see it. Um, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>